So now I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate a diabetic foot exam, and I'm very fortunate to have this wonderful volunteer with me today. When we are examining the feet of a diabetic, it's really important to take a very comprehensive approach. And so what I have done is I've asked my volunteer to remove her shoe and sock so that we can get a good look. I'm initially just taking a look generally for any uh, obvious or gross deformities of the foot and looking at her foot, her foot actually looks to be in very good shape. I don't really see any major deformities or issues that are sometimes common in diabetics. So the other thing that I'm looking for is I'm just doing a brief skin exam. I'm looking for any kind of lesions, uh, sores, discolorations, any kind of abnormalities in the skin that might be a concern and I'm not seeing anything like that. The temperature of her feet are very nice and warm, and I am palpating the pulse. The dorsalis pedis pulse is actually nice and strong, so she's got a good blood supply here. I'm also palpating the posterior tibialis, and I'm finding a very good strong pulse there as well. On further exam, I'm looking in between the toes. I'm not seeing any type of moisture, no fungal infection, no rashes, no lesions. Everything looks really quite good. So now what I'd like to do is evaluate her for what we call protective sensation. One of the issues that is very critical in diabetics is that they are very prone to loss of protective sensation. And that's tested using something called a Semmes-Weinstein monofilament or 5-gram monofilament. So what I am going to do is I am going to ask my volunteer to close her eyes and I'm going to ask her as I touch each different area if she feels this. The other thing I'm also going to let her know is that this is not a needle or a wire, it is a piece of plastic. So it is not going to be painful. So I'm going to have you close your eyes and I'm going to go ahead and touch you in these various areas. Do you feel this? Yes. Good. Do you feel this? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. Good. Do you feel this? Yes. Do you feel this? Yes. Do you feel this? Mm-hmm. Yes. And how about here? Yes. Here? Yes. Here? Very little, but I'm, I'm feeling yes. Okay. Here? Yes. Here? Yes. And here? Yes. Okay. So when I'm doing that sensation testing, what I am doing is I'm actually pushing this monofilament just enough to make it bend. And that helps us to indicate if that patient has sensation or not. Now in this case, fortunately, she was able to feel all 12 sites that we touched. So that would indicate to me that she has very good uh, sensation and no indications of any neuropathy at this time. The other uh, last thing that I'm going to do is just check for what's called vibratory sensation. And this is where we just use a very plain tuning hammer. And I will first let my volunteer know what I'm going to do by just hitting that hammer and just asking, do you feel this vibration? Yes. Okay. Does that feel the same there as it does right here? More than over there. Okay. So she's, she's feeling the sensation here. Let me know when that sensation goes away. Okay. No. Excellent. So, and that's about the same time that it went away from me. So, basically, what I'm determining is if she has the same ability to feel vibration in her hand as in her foot, and then at what point that vibratory sensation goes away. For many diabetics with neuropathy, they're not able to feel any vibration at all. And then finally, one last thing. I'm going to have you close your eyes mm -hmm. and tell me if I am pointing your toe down or up. Mm, down. Good. And how about now? Good, excellent. So we've completed our diabetic exam and our findings indicate that we have really good palpable pulses, no significant types of skin issues, no deformities. She has intact protective sensation and she has intact vibratory sense. Thank you.